Hey, what's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing out there? This is uh, your boy Brad H, also known as Prospect Boy, coming back at y'all with another video. Uh, hope everybody's out there doing pretty good. Uh, today, uh, I want to tell y'all a little story about uh, something that happened uh, a couple of Sundays ago that I found kind of funny. You guys may not find it funny, but I find it kind of funny, so I thought I would uh, share it with you all. So uh, a couple Sundays ago, uh, me and some of the fellas uh, went to the basketball court to go play basketball. You know, something that you know we've been doing for you know ever since we was in high school, or whatever. Um, so uh, there was this guy that uh, that went with us, who's one of my homeboys' uh, niece uh, boyfriend. He went with us or whatever, you know. So he's kind of uh, fairly, you know, kind of, kind of. We don't know that much about him, you know. So uh, we're out there playing basketball and everything, and, and one of my uh, friends that joined the Army last year happened to be out there. I hadn't seen him since last year, so, you know, we was all out there playing ball, enjoying ourselves or whatever. So um, this guy, uh, he walks out to the park or whatever, and he, he wants to get out there and play with us and everything. So. Uh, he comes out there, and he, at first, you know, he was wanting to play for money, you know. Well, we don't play for money, you know. We just play for fun and everything. And when he seen my, my friend from, the, you know, that joined the Army, he seen his car, you know. And, you know, he had his car done up real nice, you know. And he was like, you know, he wanted to just play this cat for money and all that. So, we was getting ready to leave, and, uh, uh, old boy, you know, that walked out there was like, I want a car like that, you know. And my my other home my other friend was like you know well join the army then so he was like I can't join the army you know I've had I just done six years in the pen and you know I done caught all these drug charge drug cases and stuff like that I can't join the army you know so uh, this the guy that that came out there that's my homeboy's uh, niece boyfriend just out of nowhere says. Ain't nobody out here saw more dope than me. So him and the guy that had walked out there wanting to play for money actually begin to argue over which one of them has saw the most dope and touched the most dope. Who actually brags about that? So while they're sitting there arguing, I'm over here talking to another guy and we're just looking at him and we're like, that ain't nothing to brag about, you know? And I and I was telling the dude, I was like, you know, this guy just done six years. Why would he brag about, you know, selling dope? I mean, that's six years of your life you done lost, you know? Not to mention, you know, it's probably no telling what was happening to him, you know, while he was in prison, you know, as far as, you know, we already know about, you know, what we done heard about what goes on in these prisons with these men or whatever, you know? So, I mean, they spent at least um, probably five minutes arguing over that. And then it went from that to, uh, where are you from? So, the guy that walked out there was like, I'm from Oakland. And then the other guy was like, you know, uh, I'm from Houston or whatever. And, and, and they started talking about gangs and arguing over it. I mean, it was quite... <laughs> It was quite hilarious, to be honest with you. I mean, I couldn't stop laughing, but uh, who actually brags about that? I mean, going to prison, selling dope, touching dope. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that's just a little something I thought I would share with you guys. Uh, you know, a little funny story or whatever. Hopefully you found it funny. If you didn't, you know, I apologize. But uh, basically, uh, NBA Finals are over with. Uh, as you know, the Lakers won. I'm disappointed. You know, I don't like Boston, but, I mean, I, I think I chose a list of two evils, you know, uh, pulling for Boston this time around. And, you know, it kind of made, made a fool out of me because I remember telling my grandmother that, you know, whoever won game five will win the whole series. And Boston won game five. And my grandmother, she said, and I quote, when I told her that, you know, 
uh, Boston will win the series. She says, quote, Kobe Bryant will die before he lets Boston come to L.A. and win two games, end in, in quote. So, uh, you know, I guess she turned out to be right, you know. <laughs> but uh, that's all I want to share with y'all. Uh, I'll be back real soon. Uh, got some more video uh, topics I want to discuss. Hope everybody's staying up out there and, you know, doing well, taking care of yourself and staying healthy. And, uh, you know, hopefully you found the story funny. But once again, before I go, who brags about that? Who brags about it? Take care, everybody.